guys, I'm Maya and today I am back with a video that has been long awaited. Recently I've noticed I've been having quite a lot of comments on my new videos saying please do some more car boot sale hauls. And the last car boot sale haul video I did, I don't know, was like eight months ago or something. I haven't done it in a ridiculously long time. But I'm really, really excited to start doing the series again because they're one of my favourite videos to film, honestly. In a nutshell, I am absolutely crap at explaining things so I have googled the definition of a car boot sale for those who don't know. It is an outdoor sale at which people sell unwanted possessions typically from the boots of their cars. So it's basically a massive massive yard sale where like hundreds of people come to sell things for really cheap. They might be new, they might be used and a lot of the time you can find things that are really really good for really really cheap. And before you all go a bit back crap crazy on me, I know the risks, I know the dangers, I sanitise every single product that I get so it's usable. I know what I'm doing, I've been doing this for years, I'm aware, it's all good, it's all good. It's all good! <coughs> Also, yes, I have had my hair cut and I am wearing a shirt with cats all over it. I just feel in my element right now. In this episode, basically, I have bought a crap ton of high-end makeup, a few little drugstore bits, some skincare bits, and some books. So if you like reading, there, there you go. Let's get straight into it. <laughs> Okay, diving in, the first thing I got is a bit of a skincare item. This is the Lush Breath... <laughs> this is the Lush Breath of Fresh Air Toner. I absolutely love Lush products, so they're all natural, they're all vegan, animal cruelty, like no, 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 no. It's a little cheeky, little cheeky spray. Refreshing. I've also got all the RRPs and what I paid and like how much I saved and what I paid in the end and everything like that. Oh, I'm all excited. The RRP, the recommended retail price for this product is £4.50 and I paid 20p. What a bargain. I've also been using it quite a lot and it's like, it's really good. It's helping my skin. The next two items I got in a bundle, so I paid for them together. Oh, I love a good bundle. Oh, bargain. So once again, I saw Lush and I was straight there. So the first thing I got in the bundle is the Lush Tea Tree Water, which is a toner. And I absolutely love tea tree. It does wonders for acne, if you didn't know. And to go alongside this, I also got the number seven color calming primer, which you may have seen in quite a few of my videos already. This is what transitions me into OMG, it's Fiona. And the RRP for the primer is £16.50. I was not expecting such a hefty price for a primer, but I mean, I got it for cheap, so why not? And the RRP for the toner, Water is £4.50. So the RRP for these two together, I should have paid in shops £21. But instead, I paid £1. So I saved £20. Maths, yay. And instead, I paid £1, which is a massive saving. And I got two great products. Who would have guessed I got another bundle? Love a bit of skincare. And I got the Clinique Anti-Blemish Solutions Toner and the Lizzo Cleanse and Polish Hot Cloth Cleanser. Before you say anything, yes it's real. I've used this before and this is real. And I've also used this before and it's real. Just the smell of this toner brings back memories of spotty 13 year old Maya because this is what I lived on. The RRP for the Clinique Toner is £18. Which, by the way, if you don't happen to come across this in a car sale, I 100% recommend if you have acne, it's like a godsend. And for the mini cleanse and polish, the RRP is £6, so together that is £24. And once again, for these two, I paid a pound, which is literally... Oh, the next one is probably one of the best buys. You'll be like so shocked when you see it. I got the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. And no, it's not fake. I just can't understand why the girl was selling it for this cheap. The RRP for this is £23, which is so expensive for a concealer. But it is amazing, amazing quality, which explains the price. And I got this for... 50p. I'm not complaining because I was just too happy at the time, but this is a little bit dark for me. So it doesn't really match me now, but when I have a tan from going on holiday, ha! The next thing I got is become a staple for me. It's just, I'm so thankful it was there. This is the Smashbox Contour Palette. As you can tell, it's been heavily used, but honestly, I do not mind. If I'm only paying a small amount for some really high quality product, even if there's not much left, I am still going to be happy. The RRP for this is £35.50. Oh my God. And thankfully, I got this for 50p. 50p, 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 50p. So that was an absolute steal. I got another thing from the same woman as I did the contour palette. She must like Smashbox. That's good that she likes Smashbox though, because now I like Smashbox. I also picked up the Smashbox Halo to Go Hydrating Perfecting Powder in the shade Fair. It's basically a really pigmented powder, almost like a foundation. But honestly, I've been using this like crazy and it is RRP 
£31. And once again, this lovely lady sold it to me for 50p. Is this video kind of showing you that car boot sales are amazing yet? Because they really are amazing. Next up, I got three different makeup items from the same person. And I just like, once again, I just can't believe the price. Like, why? First up, I got another of the Revlon Photo Ready Perfecting Primer. I've already got one of these, but I got this as a little backup because it's really good. The RRP for this is £13, which is a bit of a hefty price for a primer anyway. And I got this for 20p, not 50p, not a pound, 20p. Again from this seller, they must like Revlon. I mean, I, I like Revlon, so it's a good thing. I got the Revlon Colour Stay Liquid Liner in the shade Blackest Black. The RRP for this is £8, which is quite a lot for a drugstore eyeliner. And as I said before, I got this for 20p. And it feels pretty much full. There's so much product left in and I'm like, yes, God. Also from this person, I got a little mini of the Too Faced Shadow Insurance. This is like a cult favourite in the makeup world and I've needed an eyeshadow primer so it was such a coincidence and I was very happy when I came along this. The RRP for a mini one like this is £9 and once again I paid 20p. Well, well worth it and this shall be used. I also picked up a Benefit That Gal Brightening Face Primer. It's a little mini and there's not that much left in it but you know, just to try it out, it's well worth 20p. Spoilers, I got it for 20p. <laughs> and this is RRP £5 for a mini and I got it for 20p again. Cannot go wrong. The next one is something I wouldn't normally get but I mean, stepping out my comfort zone, why not? This is a NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in the shade Colbat which is a proper glittery blue colour. It looks like it's pretty much never been used. I think she said she only opened it and used it like once. This is RRP £5, as you can probably tell by the big sticker on it that says £5. And I paid 50p for this because I just want to step out my comfort zone and do more big and bold eyeshadow looks. Still cannot believe my look for this one. I got the Bare Minerals Bronzer in Warmth. It's not full, but there is a lot left. In bare mineral stuff, you only need a teeny tiny amount, so this will last me like years. So the amount I was going to invest and the RRP for this is 16 pounds. And just my look, I got this for 50p. Oh, the next one is a bit of a steal. This is a collector's edition deluxe size of the bare minerals mineral veil in bronzing mineral veil and it's literally freaking huge from what i can see it looks about half full but still half full of a deluxe tub is like two normal tubs the rrp for this is 35 pounds 35 pound for a bronzer mama and for this big massive tub of bare minerals i paid one pound you heard me right next i got another eyeliner because once again i'm a sucker for eyeliners <laughs> This is the Mali Eyelining System in the shade Crisp Black. What's fancy about it is this is actually an eyeliner but it's in powder form. Da -da -da. I'd never even heard of the brand until I saw it on the table so I decided to take a chance and it ended up being really good. The RRP for this is £14 and I got this which is two eyeliners basically for £1. The last makeup item I got but not the last thing. Hold your horses guys. I got a sample of the Benefit Boing Concealers. This again is actually a backup one for me. I have two of these now because I just love it so much. So once again, I'm very lucky that this popped up at the car boot sale again. And the RRP for a mini like this is five pounds and I paid 50p. Can't go wrong for one of your favorite concealers for 50p. And the very last things for today's episode, I have two books. Maya Reads? What the hell? <laughs> the two books I got are Sheltering Rain and The One Plus One. They're both by the author Jojo Moyes and I picked these up because I have read Me Before You, which is also one of Jojo Moyes books and that book is one of the best books I have ever read in my life. If you like the movie, you need to read the book. You will honestly just fall in love with the world trainer, like you need to read the book. So I absolutely love her writing and her style, so I picked up two books because as you all know, I am doing volunteer work in Peru in July and to just get to Peru, it is 24 hours on a plane, which means I have to use up my time somehow. So I got these books to read on the plane. Sheltering Rain is RRP £5.19 and the one plus one is RRP £4. So together they're worth £9.19 and I paid £2 for them both. My mum has already had her eye on this and been like, oh my god, when can I read these? I want to read them. Calm your horses, big T. I I haven't even read them yet. Now to total up how much I spent and how much everything here is worth. For all of these things that I have showed you today, I paid for them £10. RRP, if you want to buy all of these in shops, you would have to pay £258.19p. Can you tell that car boot sales are just amazing yet? Yeah. 
Remember, this isn't the first car boot sale haul I've done. I've got a whole playlist of them and it'll be linked down below if you want to watch them. Make sure to subscribe to me now if you haven't already to see my new videos and to click the little bell to be notified. And thank you so much for watching this video and I'll see you in my next one. See you later! OMG, it's Maya. She has sorted out a certain attire with makeup moments, lifestyle too. You'll never get bored. OMG, it's Maya.